Okay, we're here at the uh, Puente Hills Mall. And I already did some videos, but I forgot to get the pre-opening video of the outside of the mall. So here it is, you know, hopefully uh, you all find my videos informative uh, for uh, wanting to come down here to the Puente Mall. And uh, with this video that I'm making, you can find uh, the stores that are open, the stores that are not uh, for your convenience so that you don't have to make a trip for nothing okay so once again uh we're here at the puente hills mall here in southern california okay here i am at the puente mall and uh i was just walking through it just to walk to get some exercise and to get out of the house as i've been in the house the past three days not getting anywhere and I had made a video a while back, maybe a year ago or so, of this mall, of all the shops that were closing down. And I couldn't help myself but to just pull out my phone and start recording again about so many of the stores here that are still closed and those that are, are still closing. So I had looked into this big store here which I don't know, well, let me see if we could tell what it was up here. No, it's a bit hard to see what the, what the name was up there, but this was one of the biggest stores over here. Could have been Sears, could have been a JCPenney's. See that? Huge department store, empty, empty store, huge. And uh, so I just thought I would, by the way, this is Keith Silva Sr. here at the La Puente Mall once again, like I said. And um, I couldn't help myself but to pull out my phone and just record because it's amazing of how many of these stores are closed here. And so many shops, Forever 21. Um, I had to have to look at my video again to see if Forever 21 was closed the last time I came here. And I made a video of the first and second levels of all the stores that were closed and those that were open. There's a nail shop over there. Nail art is still open, but all this over here uh, used to be Forever 21 is closed. Um, you still got the plants hanging out here. You, you just got to wonder, is this a dying mall? Is this going to be one of those other malls that is going to be on the map for all of those that love going to uh, places that have closed and is no longer active? Am I standing in one of those malls here in La Puente? Who knows? It could be because in the seats, you know, it's like, you know, every time I look at those videos of the malls, you see things falling. People come in here to start breaking glass. They start tearing things up. You don't have to worry about tearing up this couch. It's already tore up for you. So you don't have to worry about it. But they tend to break everything. And so for, for history's sake, I thought I would record this just so that I would have it to show everybody how the mall was clean at one time without destruction. So I figured I would go through this. And this is called Le Funland USA. It's not open uh, today. Maybe it is on the weekend. I'm not sure. We still got a bit of kid fun stuff over here. You got some massage chairs still out here in the middle. I take it these are trash cans, which is good. It's always good to have trash cans around. This store is closed. I don't know what this was. There's no name up there. Used to have a name. Uh, all of that was Forever 21. It was huge. I mean, look at how huge this was. I mean, it was big. So at least you could still come and sit on some chairs and get a massage there. We have a uh, tick time. Uh, it's not open today. I don't know if they have stuff still in there. Uh, it looks like there's some stuff in there, but this is empty over here. Nothing displayed there. Could be that they're, uh, yeah, there's some stuff still in here. Yeah, okay. It just looked like they were, yeah, there's stuff still in there. So, so take time is still in business, but not open today. All right, let's move right along. All right, this store is closed. There's no name on it. There's another one. 
So what I want to do is I want to be able to look at this video compared to the one I did last year or the year before about the stores that were open and weren't. So I could compare all of the stores that are closed now compared to last year or two years ago. So this one's closed. Uh, so that's another one, no name. But as you can see, that one's closed. That's closed. There's nothing there. So, I mean, you all count. I don't have to count. I, you guys count for me. And maybe you could post it on the, on the links below or the uh, comments below. There's another store, another one closed. And this is all on one floor. Starting from the end of the one of the biggest stores, could have been JCPenney's, could have been Sears. I don't recall what that was, but I believe this is like the West End. Uh, where I started from, like the northwest end of the mall on the first level. Um, all right, let's move right along. So there's another one that's closed. Remember, you guys keep count. Okay, body uh, Bath and Body Works, uh, that's open. So that's open and running. We're coming into the, the middle of the, the whole mall. Uh, we have a store right there that's opened. Got a little soda machine there, a little photo booth there, a little toy machine for stuffed animals. And uh, here's the, uh, the little map of where to go. AMC is to your left. Food court upstairs. Hadalayo Pot Pot is to the left. Macy's to the right. Burlington Coal Factory straight up. And Ross is straight up. Okay, so we're going to just continue around to the right. We're going to just keep going on to the right. But look at plenty of seating out here for you to come and relax and kick back. There's a juicy little place here, whatever that was. Not open anymore. No no product there. Uh, this is uh, whatever this was. I, I think it's still part of the store we just checked out on. So look at that. Pretty, it's really nice here though, you know, to be able to come, sit, relax. You got a lot of skylighting here. Uh, really nice open area. I've always liked uh, the style of the mall like that, like this, because um, it's real bright. Open, a lot of seating there to relax. Bring your laptop or whatever, do some work there. Coming across Empire Gems International, it no longer in business. It's closed, there's nothing in there. So that's closed. Uh, I believe this used to be some kind of Toys R Us or something like that, or like a discount kind of a store. So this was open the last time I came, uh, but it's not anymore. So there's one for sure that I remember was open the last time I came here and is not anymore. All right, let's keep following it along the right here. Now we're going north. Uh, I'm sorry, south. Uh, we're going south. We moved. <laughs> we moved to the AMC wing next to Levick Jewelers, reopening new location, 715 Friday. That was July 15th. Okay, so this is closed. They relocated. I guess this store was too big. So they had to get a smaller store, maybe. Keep going around to the, uh, following it to the right. Uh, by the way, today is Tuesday, the 16th of January, 2023. And I believe, uh, no, this is a different store. That's closed. Okay, so whatever that was, that's closed. Those of you who might know what these stores were, that were regulars here, you know, comment below and let me know what these stores were. You still got a little active display here for information. Just t touch it and look for your information. All right, so here's another store that's closed. It used to be Fashion Q. They still, at least they left their name up there so I could see which store this was back then or at one time. So that's closed. It doesn't look like anything over here is open either. Still got your seating over here. Follow it along. Used to be a name up there and there's no name. So this uh, was another major store. All your major stores were usually at the end of each of the sections of the mall. Uh, they were what's called their anchor stores, uh, which a lot of them are no longer here. Uh, this is closed, whatever that was. Could have been a dining area, uh, kind of a place. Uh, you tell me in the comments below if you remember what this was. Okay, keep following it along here. 
now we're going like east, uh, east along the, the first level of the La Puente Mall. Here in Southern California, sunny Southern California now after the rain. Well, it's partly cloudy, but mostly sunny. All right. Whoa, I can't believe this. What the heck? I don't remember the Navy being down here. The Navy used to be, or was it? Oh, okay. I know where I'm at now. Yeah, no, I, I stand corrected. It always has been here. Uh, it's always been here. Well, they're still here. Okay. All right. Well, the Navy Career Center is still here. I would come here when I was uh, the active commanding officer for the uh, sea cadets in uh, the Navy Operational Support Center in, uh, in Bell, California. Here's a restaurant that's not open today. Uh, your desserts were there. Uh, but it's closed today. Like I said, maybe most of the places are going to be open on weekends. They're probably finding it hard to keep open on the weekday. So um, they're uh, more than likely opening on weekends just to save some money. But they still got to pay the rent. So I don't understand uh, what exactly is going on there. Actually, this is like a seafood place where you, can, where you eat seafood. A lot of seafood stuff going on over here. All right. Well, I don't, I don't have much reason to go to the uh, Navy career area anymore. I used to pick up a bunch of pencils and, and lanyards and flyers and a whole bunch of stuff there when I was the commanding officer, the active commanding officer of Long Beach Division and training ship Arthur Beaumont. You got a Pepsi machine here? Yeah, see, so look, all you can eat, Makino, Taste of Japan, all you can eat, sushi and seafood buffet. So that's what this is right here. But like I said, it's closed today. Today's Tuesday. Uh, a little bit in the beginning of the week. What does it say here? To our valued customers, nothing is more important to us than the safety of our guests, employees, and community. We are all in this together, and we want to do our part. Due to the mandatory state and citywide mandates by the governors to shut down restaurants and bars, we are temporarily closing the restaurants until it's safe to reopen again. Okay, so there it is. That's what that is. Temporary shutdown. That's why it's not open. It says it right there. But the hours are right there. They used to have a lunch and a dinner. All right, well, let's continue on. So now I know what's going on there. Well, now we know what's going on there. So there's the, the actual the marquee of it. Okay? So don't come down here to try to uh, eat some uh, Makino <laughs> uh, seafood because you'll find it closed. All right, hope that's helpful to you. Okay, let's continue on. We're going north now on the first level. Uh, this looks very familiar. They have the same kind of style storefront in other malls. They, there's, the design is very similar. It's almost the same in every other mall, but I can't recall for the life of me right now what the name of this was, this, this store. It was a clothing store, I know that for sure. Uh, like I said, if you remember what the, the store is, the name of it, just go ahead and put it in the comments and let everybody know what the store uh, name was for this. It has a very familiar um, Twin Pines was the information area. Nobody here. Little machine there to grab stuff out of. I don't know if it's working. This is closed. Marquis gone. Don't know what that was, a jewelry store maybe, I don't know. Um, we got a clothing store, they're open here. We got Anahi. So we have Anahi still open. They look like they're open today. Just, uh, this is closed. This is a pretty huge mall. Uh, I'm barely a quarter of the way through here, so you guys got to bear with me. It's almost like I need to stop and then restart again because this is going to be a very long video. But I just got to keep on moving a bit faster and not talk so much just so I can get all of the footage of the stores that are open and those that are not. Okay, so we have a store open here. S&J Men's is open. Ross Dress for Less is open. Let's keep going. Burlington Coat Factory is open. Morning Glory Store is open, uh, Town Center Jewelry Mart is open, 
Uh, they're still up in business and running. We got, what is this over here? VNR Realty Academy is open. Oh, it's a hair salon kind of thing. Hair Academy. Right, they're doing hair in there. Look at that. Some kind of school. I guess those kind of things will prosper in here because they're not trying to sell nothing, but they're just training and teaching. All right, this is open. This is called Chamango. So Chamango is open. A bunch of Mexican drinks here, or, or yeah, I think they're Mexican drinks, Mexican water. Okay, let's go north. We just came from the east side. Uh, Levix Jewelry is open. Collectors Outlet is open. Oh, I didn't get this side over here. Well, I'm going to have to go around. I'm sorry. So we're going to keep on heading north. Uh, there's an elevator here on this side if you need to go in there. There's a Pepsi machine. Uh, we have Threading Center. Uh, Ratnas. Ratnas. Ratnas Threading Center. That's open. So that store is closed. There's some product in there, but it's not open today. And I don't, well, let's see what the sign says here. Pure Blades. We are located upper level near Sears. Unit 553, there's a phone number. So if you guys are looking for uh, Pure Blades, that's where you're gonna find them. Or on their Instagram page. All right, All right moving on, keep on going north. There's some kind of jewelry uh, center. Uh, I forget what those call. <laughs> says. I used to work at one of these things in the center of a mall at one time. The AMC Theater over there is still open. So they're up and running still. All right, so this is the far north side of the mall on the first floor. There's a restaurant over there that's still open as well. I mean, it's not open right now, uh, but it is uh, still open. It's still active. Proactive machine over there, Pepsi. We got all kinds of little machines here in the middle, photo booth over there. You got this thing where you throw pennies, nickels, quarters, dimes, whatever, and it rolls in there. You can just watch it rolling. Yeah, so this little restaurant is open here. Let's see what it's called. Haile Lao Hoi Poi. If I said that wrong, then you guys uh, say, it, say it the way it's supposed to be, say if you know it. All right, so moving right along over here to, now we're heading to the west side, or we're going west. Oh, so here's another entrance. Well, they got a nice little water stand there. Here's the same restaurant, the entrance for it. So like I said, that's open. They have a little TV out here so you can watch what they do. This is uh, heading west. It's the whole, that's still the whole same restaurant. There's the exit where I came in from, so that's where I'll be heading back out when I gotta go find my car. This uh, restaurant is not open anymore as well, it's closed. And here's a notice. Public notice of application to sell alcohol? No. I think the pandemic thing happened to this one as well. Maybe that was called the Alpaca Cafe, I don't know. But I don't see it open. This is all, there's a, Here's some little, <laughs> that was a short little trip. I had a short little trip there. Yeah, so there's, that's closed. There's some machines here, little seats, tables. So there's plenty of places to sit, that's for sure. One zoo, one zoo, that's closed today. I don't know if it's still open or they open on weekends. We got webs, webs, Wetzel Pretzel still open. Now we're gonna we're gonna head uh, south again. Okay, this uh, there's still a bunch of product in there, but uh, Alpaca Cafe. So this is the Alpaca Cafe. It's not open today. I don't know if it's open at all. Um, Baxter Robbins is open. So that's still actively going. Uh, this store is closed today. It's not open, but it's called Shift Studio Cuts. 
It's a hair salon, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Get your haircuts there. We got luggage man is gone. No more. Another store closed, gone. I don't know if y'all are keeping count. This used to be auto mats or auto mates. Gone. This store uh, cultivates. Gone. I stopped because I wanted to show you this Kaleidoscope Candy Company. Uh, it, there's a bunch of candy here if you want to get some here. Okay, I'm going to start uh, a new. This is Daniel. So Daniel's gave us our start when uh, when we uh, got our first rings. Kathy and I, matter of fact, that's my first ring uh, from Daniel's store, but at West Covina. That's where we first started. So I recommend if you're trying to get started with your credit again, this is they don't pay me for this. Nobody's paid me from Daniel's to do this. I'm only saying this because it helped me reestablish my credit when my credit I didn't have bad credit, but I didn't have no credit because I thought by not having credit, I'll, I don't have bills or anything. I didn't have to worry about bills. But I went to uh, somebody else, a friend of mine recommended go to Daniel's, buy some rings, pay it off, and start your credit that way. And then they'll offer you a credit card. You buy stuff, you pay it off. And then next thing you know, you're getting all kinds of letters from other creditors. Just watch out. There's no annual fees or, or anything like that. And you just keep an eye on But I recommend you guys starting with Daniels if you don't have no credit. Uh, because you can uh, reestablish your credit pretty good the way I mean I did. I, I'm just telling you about my story um, and how it worked for me. And, you know, now, uh, shit, I have a, a big collection of credit cards, which uh, is good. I mean, I have a good credit now. Uh, but then again, you got to watch it. The more credits credit cards you have the more money you're gonna to have to pay all right so i think i'm coming to where i started uh, forever 21 which is closed the bathrooms are still open restrooms okay so uh and then these two stores are closed here okay uh right around the corner from the daniel so just uh just remember that all right so let's go ahead and head up to the top once again we're here at the la puente mall here in la puente me I, I believe it's la puente over here um but uh once again uh, you're here with uh, Keith Silva Sr. taking you on a tour of the La Puente Mall here on Tuesday, January 16th, 2023. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on up. Hey, I had a great conversation with those Army uh, young Army guys there, Staff Sergeant Lopez and then uh, Sergeant Sanchez. So uh, that was great. I hope you guys like that part of things. Let's go ahead up to the second floor, okay? We're going to take the escalator on this one. All right, here we go. Go on up with me on the escalator. I, you know what I have to buy for this phone? I, sh I need to buy the microphone so that it would come out a lot clearer when I'm talking to somebody. Um, especially me. Actually me because I have the... the no, I, I take that back. When I'm interviewing somebody, you could barely hear what they're saying. But if I had a microphone attached to this, uh, it would be a lot better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start right away from the top of the escalator. We're on the second level now. And this is facing uh, north or west, I'm sorry, west. So Vans is still open. Uh, you have a little soda machine right there, so in case you're thirsty. So Vans is, is open, it's active, the doors are open. You have Excel Salon and Spa over there. It looks like it's still open. So uh, you could come on up and uh, take care of your spa needs. All right, so that's open. We're going to continue on. What do we have here? You have a whole bunch of posters in there, T-shirts hanging. Okay, it's closed today, though. Uh, this is called Trendy Gift Store. Okay, so Trendy Gift Store is closed today. I don't know if they're closed today or just not going to open again. Who knows if they paid their bills or not. I don't know what it says over here. Funko Pop Sale. Okay, that has nothing to do with we're closing, not opening, or anything like that. All right, so let's continue on. So there's a storefront. It's pretty long. Once again, we're t uh, continuing uh, west here on the upper level. There's another big door here. Looks like it could be part of that same store that we just looked at. It's closed, obviously. It's closed. Champs is still open. So I believe this was still open two years ago when I came and filmed the last time. So that's okay. 
So this is the top of the entrance for that major store that used to be here. And I, I, I can't help think of how, how, idi uh, how idiotic I might have sounded asking the stupid questions to those soldiers. I should have asked, uh, you know, some really uh, smart questions to them. Uh, fan wave, that's closed, not open anymore, stuff is gone. Uh, but like I said, I don't know if this was Sears, J.C. Penney's, I don't know what that was, but this is a top entrance. Obviously, it's closed as we showed you downstairs. All right, so we're going to continue on. We're going to be heading south now on the upper level. That was amazing, huh? Young staff sergeant and a young sergeant. Goodness, those guys were young. That's the way to do it, though. And the staff sergeant came in as a PFC already. See that? So if you do good and recruit people or uh, whatever you got to do, he said he had college credit. So I believe he got to be a PFC by coming in with some college credit. So we have Foothill Transit Store. That's open. And then um, there's a store here with no name. So that's closed. All right, let's continue on. Uh, we have Max Mart. That's closed. I remember buying some stuff out of there before when it was open. It looks like there's stuff in there, but they're just not open today. Uh, I'm not sure if they're open uh, permanently still or not. There's a ATM there if you need it. Uh, there's the Army Career Center where the uh, two sergeants are from. That's a big career center. All right, so there it is. So they're just out for a walk. I guess you need some of that once in a while. Look at that soldier dude right there. Yeah, it looks impressive, but when you're in combat and they're shooting back at you and they're light bullets that could kill you, it's not as fun. It's not as, not as exciting. Okay, so this is... All right, so... We have... What do we have here? Boba time. Doesn't look like there's no boba time happening here today. Looks like it's closed, so... All right, so right here we have shoes, shoe repair. That's still open, so if you guys need to get your shoes repaired, you come down here uh, and get them done. Uh, meet at the Grand, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's part of this store right here, but this store is open, there's a bunch of toys. It's a toy store there, so we'll get the name of this right now. So this is Pure Blades. All right. Oh, matter of fact, this is where I got my little pocket knife from. I think they have one of these stores in the West Covina Mall. I'll show you my little knife that I got over there. <laughs> this right here. This is really good. It has a corkscrew, has a screwdriver, Phillips. Really sharp knives in there. I got this from here, from what, I think Pure Blaze in West Covina. So it's still open. So <laughs> so you guys come on down here and take a, take a look at what you want for uh, any kind of little knives or blades that you need. Bam. They're open. Come on down, La Puente Mall. We got your massage chairs that are still out here. Nothing over there. You could cop a squat if you want to. All right, let's continue on. Uh, store that's closed over here, not open. No title of the marquee. I don't know what that was. Let's keep on going over here. Uh, closed. Nothing there. I don't know what that was. Uh, we got Miracle Eyebrows. It's closed today. I don't know if they're going to be open again anymore. Uh, there's a bunch of notices here. Uh, ret ret Ratna's threading. Oh, I think we saw Ratna's threading down the stairs. So basically, they just moved. Uh, if that's, you know, the same place. All right, we have uh, Window into the Future. I don't know what's going on there. If that's part of that store, it could be. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. We went over there. We went uh, south. We were coming east. Now we're going to go like south again so here's focus hair studio so that's still open so if you want to come down here and do your haircuts they're still open uh we're gonna move around the corner here uh what do we have here all right but some stuff in the window there but doesn't mean nothing this is closed i don't know what that was there's no title up there 
I got to remember where I started from. <laughs> I think I lost my bearings. All right, we have mall security there. There's the office entrance. Uh, we have a whole bunch of kitty uh, fun things over here. Uh, if you want to bring your kids over here and spend uh, some time walking around. This is closed. I remember there used to be a store up in here open, but they box, they put a box front in front of all the stores that are closed. So let's continue on. Whoa, closed too. Okay. Closed, not open, gone. The one next to it, closed. Oh, it's gone. Nothing here. There used to be chairs here. Uh, they took some of the chairs out of here. Pretty empty. So closed. I think we, okay, yeah, we're heading north. Now I know where we're at because I looked downstairs and I believe the, uh, no, I'm wrong. I was thinking that's the theater on this side. Okay, Kings. There's still some clothing in there, but they're not open today. Like I said, today, well, not like I said, because this is the new start of the video. Uh, today is Tuesday, uh, January 16th, 2023. Okay. Uh, no chairs or anything to sit on over here. Just a big empty space. Once again, we're here at the La Puente Mall. This was a big store here as well, but no longer open. You know what? I, I could, I think I could widen out here, I see. No? Ah, I was hoping that I would be able to zoom out more, but it's not zooming out anything. So, all right, anyway, continuing on. This is closed, so there's nothing there. Another one of the big uh, store chains closed. You know what? I, I think this is heading south. Correction from heading north. I think we're we're heading south because this looks very familiar to the downstairs uh, that was closed. Uh, so the store closed, gone. There's another one. So uh, I asked everybody to keep count of how many stores. There's nothing here. How many stores you count are closed here in the La Puente Mall? And how many are open? We have some escalators that'll take you up and down. Let me see if there's if they're running and functioning. Yeah, going down is functioning and going up is functioning. Okay, moving right along. So a big store right here, closed, gone. I don't know what they do if they paint the windows black, but there's something they put on there that blackens out the, wind, the, the glass so you can't see through it. But gone, looks like there's still stuff in there they're clearing out or they're using it for a storage facility right now or they're packing their stuff, moving out of here. Number 365, going out, gone, almost gone. Gone, another one, closed. Closed, gone. Keep count, everybody, from the prior video and this video. I don't know what the name was down there, but there was some little flowers up there. So if you remember what this was, maybe a kid's store. Looked like a pretty fair, fair size. Okay, let's keep on moving right along. You have an information thing here, but the sun hits, so you can't even see what you're looking at. All right, so this store has a bunch of stuff still in it. The lights are on, but let's see, are they open? Well, no, not really. The, the gate's open, but it doesn't look like it's open for business. Okay, looks like they're packing up. I think they're packing up, closing this used to be BL, I don't know what was in the middle there. BLD. What was this called before? BLBD. BLBD? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's closed now? No. no more? Or are you opening? Yeah, it's open. I mean, no, but for business. Or, yeah, for it, business. It's going to be open now? Yeah. Uh, okay. So BLBD or V? Yeah, yeah BLBD. Like Boulevard? Yeah, Boulevard. Oh, okay, Boulevard. So Boulevard's still open here at the La Puente Mall. So if you, what is here? What is it, men's clothing or? Men's clothing. Okay, men's clothing. So if you want some men's clothing, this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> so men's clothing, the gentleman right here just told me that they're open. Come on down. Boulevard right here at the West Covina Mall on the second level. So there it is. So see that? I, if I wouldn't have talked to that gentleman right there, I would have thought the store was closing. But he said it's opening. They have men's work. So come on down. You can still get stuff from there. All right, it's closed. This one's closed. I don't see any marquee. Uh, nothing happening. The windows are all blacked out. 
Sorry for swinging my hands through the camera there. Lids, lids, lids is open. It's got hats, a bunch of hats here. So if you want a hat and you're looking for a hat, you still come on down here and get some hats and they'll sew it, do whatever you want to put on there. So you got hats going on. So the lids are still open. Uh, what do we got over here? We got a little machine there. If you want something from that machine, if there's anything in it, yeah, there is. Uh, we have Beauty Center. Looks like uh, it's closed today. But uh, Beauty Center, it looks like there's still stuff in there. CNL battery or CNL jewelry, battery exchange, jewelry repair. Uh, that's still open. Comfort reflexology, open massage. Okay, so if you want to massage with your feet, come on in. It looks like they're still open. I don't see no light back there, but maybe that's the way they like it. Very subtle. Wow, look at this. You still have bowling and amusement. Round one is still open here. So if you want to come and enjoy uh, some uh, activities with uh, bowling or some arcade games, uh, come on. They're still open. So if you have a place to come to and enjoy uh, some of your getaway activities right here. So yeah, bowling. I can hear the bowling's going on. Bowling is still happening. Bowling, uh, arcade games, a whole bunch of stuff. All right. So that's still open. So you can still come on down here to this uh, bowling amusement round one area. It is open. All right. Sorry if I sound so fast and I'm talking with so much energy. Every time I listen back to myself, I'm like, God, Keith, why didn't you tone it down a little? Sound like you're running a horse race. So this is closed. Uh, so there's another one. Keep count. Remember, I told you guys to keep count. Uh, we have apparel station. That's open. Uh, we have a, uh, a map of and an index of all the stores right there in case you need to look up something. Okay, so let's see. There's a... Uh, there's Macy's is to the left. Sears. That, so that's what it was. It was Sears uh, that's no longer open. So now we got a name to that big store. AMC is still open. You know, the food court. Let's check out. That's what we haven't seen is the food court. Is the food court still open? I don't know. Let's go check and see. Let's go see what's open there. Uh, what do we have? Shoe stores? Yeah, we have shoe stores right here. So the shoe store is still open here. This is called right price shoes right price shoes is still open so if you need some shoes and it's the right price come on down la puente mall here in southern california all right what do we have next right here t-mobile okay so if you have a t-mobile phone and you need to pay a bill or whatever you need to come down and do whatever you need to t-mobile stuff it's still open right here so second level la puente mall All right, so let's move around over here to the corner. What do we got there? Yeah, so there's something going on there. E-Shine Jewelry, it's no longer there. All right, but it says Sears to the far left. Food Court is straight up. Hottie Hotspot uh, is straight up. AMC is straight up. Round, where we just came from, was to our right. All right, got an exit right there. We got a store right here with some clothing. Street Dreams, it's called. And it looks like there's stuff in there, but they're not open today. And remember, like I said, today is Tuesday, um, January 16th, 2023. So when you look at this video, always remember what date it is that I'm giving you to uh, know uh, how long it's been since I posted this uh, to figure out, uh, you know, it's, if it's worth coming down here uh, to check out these stores. There's an elevator here uh, next to the Street Dreams in case you want to take an elevator. H&M, uh, this is store closing on January 7th. Well, January 7th has passed, so obviously it's closed now. So no more H&M. So if you're coming to look for an H&M here at the La Puente Mall, uh, forget it because they're not here anymore. Look at that. Empty. They're gone. Go find yourself another H&M uh, at a different mall or a different standalone store. You have some of the massage chairs here, some center kiosks that nothing's happening. You got a bench over there if you walked around a lot and you're tired. Go ahead and cop a squat there. No more H&M. So there you go, people. Now we're coming up to the, uh, now we're going north. See, I know where I'm at now because downstairs is the theater. So we are going north up on the second level. So I'm giving you some kind of guidelines of where, uh, what, what side of the mall it's on. If you see a particular store that you want to come and visit or check out, uh, you'll know what side of the mall it's in. Right now I'm just capturing some footage 
uh, of the open space here at the food court. And we're going to walk along the edges to find out what food courts are still open, what food stores. That's still part of the H&M that's closed, so no more of them. And it went all the way down to the end over there. And there's nothing uh, here. And I believe two years ago when I came here, this was still open. It was a mattress store or fur- some kind of furniture store. Uh, but uh, And if I'm wrong and if it was closed back then, well, then it's still closed. It's boarded up pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, so that's what I remember. I believe I remember that was correct. It was some kind of furniture store. Um, all right, we have an escalator right here if you want to go up and down where the theater's at to come up to the food court. So if you're on the north side, that's how you get up here. Uh, or you take that elevator that we just passed over there in the middle. Uh, if you keep on walking to the north, you're going to find a whole bunch of nice little seating areas over here. So in case you, uh, the, the, you find something that's open in the food court, you come and sit down and relax. Even if you didn't have to, anything to eat, you want to come and just sit and chat and get to know somebody or just go over whatever, do whatever uh, you want to, uh, come and sit. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of seating room. Okay, so here's an open veranda of the theater. So look at that. How amazing is that, huh? Where you can actually look into the theater itself from a veranda up here, from a, from a mezzanine, actually like the second level. So this is an AMC. So obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the MC is open. So if you want to come and see a movie, they have the latest movies that are playing right now. They have Whale. They have Mr. Otto with Tom, Tom Hanks. It's playing here. Um, oh, um, Megan is playing here. Okay, so this play, what is Boba? All right, so it looks like some katsu. They have some kind of katsu menu there with some white rice and meat. And it looks like there's somebody here, so they're, uh, they're open. So, yeah, it looks like a new place. Two years ago when I came by here, it wasn't open. Uh, nothing was here. It was closed down. So this is called HP Hawaiian Katsu. All right? So if y'all are craving this food right now, which I love. I love this kind of food with the macaroni, the rice, and the, and the chicken or the beef. Uh, this is always some great food, even the bowls right there, chicken bowls right there. Uh, so it's open. So if you want to come down here at the food court at the La Puente Mall, uh, there you go. Now you know there's a place here that you can get some great food at. Have a seat right here and <laughs> plenty, plenty of seating. Now, I don't know what it's going to look like on the weekends here if it's as, as open and as free to sit. But that's going to be left up to you to come down and find out for yourself. We have Tacos Mexico that looks like it's closed. I don't see anything happening over here. I don't see no people working. I, it looks like a lot of the product is gone, so I don't believe they're here anymore. So if you're looking for Tacos Mexico here at the La Puente Mall that you used to come to before, forget about it. Not here anymore. Now we got this place over here next to it. I don't know what it was. It just boxed over. It's gone. Closed. Keep counting, everybody. You guys got to keep counting of how many are closed and how many are open and post it on the comments so that we all know. And then those of you who want to recheck their count, Go ahead and recheck it. Watch the video again and go through it. Let us know. Closed. Don't know what that was. We have Tokyo Grill over here. Closed. So keep count. Remember, there's nothing there. No more product. But at least the title, the marquee was there. So we know what that was. And uh, there's a bunch of great food that they used to sell right there. Menu is still up there. They didn't take it down. I guess they didn't, couldn't afford to come and get it. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was with that. But if somebody wants to reopen this place, it's already done for you. All you got to do is try to get through the red tape. Closed, I don't know, boxed over, boxed over, closed. Now we got hot dog on a stick is still open over there. We have a restroom right there. Men, the women and men, and ladies and boys or girls and boys, hot dog on a stick is still open. And just so you all know who's walking around here, who's doing all this walking and talking? Well, it's me, yours truly, Keith Silva Sr., Coming to you from the La Fuente Mall here on January 16, 2023. We're going through the mall right now, checking out all the stores that have been closed since the two years that I've been here and I videotape. So we're doing it again. This is the 2023, the new year. And we're checking out to see how many more stores have closed, how many stores are still open. I'm leaving it up to you, all of you to keep count of what's closed and what's open, all right? So that this way, you know, if you need to come here again to check out a store, You'll see it on my video, whether it's open and whether... I'll save you a trip. 
if it's closed, if you want to come here and you see it's closed, don't come. If you see a store that's still open, then you know you could come down here, right? Because it's still open. Let's continue on. Let's keep going, all right? So we talked about hot dog and a stick is still open. It looks open. There's nobody there in the front right now, but uh, there's lights on and it looks active. There's drinks in the little drink containers. So it's got to be open, right? Now, I remember two years ago when I videotaped over here, this was still open, which was great because everything else was closed pretty much. I believe everything was closed except this place, Kubla Khan, Mongolian Grill. So this was the only place, and I was hungry. I was so hungry at that time. I, would, I thank God that I was able to get some food because I was walking around the mall videotaping all the stores that are closed and everything. And then I, I was like, man, I got to take a break to eat something. And thank God they were open. So they're still open. So if you're looking for some Mongolian barbecue, bam, there it is. And look at all this beautiful seating you got over here. All this nice, comfortable booth that you could come and relax in, right? Awesome. You want some privacy, you want some intimacy with your loved one or your friends, whatever. Plenty of beautiful booths over here. Look at over there, booth, booths, and open space tables. A lot of room over here. A lot of space in this food court at the La Puente Mall. All right, let's go ahead and continue. So that was north, and now we're going to be heading south again. All right. So once again, the Kubla, or uh, yeah, Kubla Khan is still open. So you can go ahead and grab yourself something to eat over there, and then we're going to continue south and check out what's going on. You got a couple of tables over here. If you want to eat alongside the rails, and you don't want to sit way over there, and you want to maybe you want to come over here and sit. Uh, who knows? Okay. So Olive Young is still open. Olive Young. It looks like some female clothing. Uh, so if you want some kind of feet, oh, look at that, $5, $7. Wow, if you're looking for a deal, <laughs> come on over. This is a place to come and get a great deal, 5 and $7. Now, you'd have to look through the clothing to see if you find a deal or not, but at least the price is the deal. Okay, open or closed? Okay, those of you who say close, you're right. <laughs> if you said open, wrong. Er. All right, continuing on, stadium. Stadium doors are closed, but there's a lot of product in there. Hats are still showing and displayed, but there's nobody here today. So I don't know what's going on. If they pay the rent, if they're going to open again by tomorrow, the weekend, I don't know. You'd have to call them and find out. Uh, we have Hot Topics. All right. This is such a great store, too. They have a lot of different variety in here in the Hot Topics. So if you're looking for uh, Hot Topics to be open here at the La Puente Mall, you got it. Come on down. It says save 30% right there. T's 30% off. Uh, there it is. So still open. Look at that. All right. So if you need something there from Hot Topics, come on down. It's still open. And as I said, this is as of Tuesday, January 16, 2023. This looks like, uh, oh, what the heck? Mary Fields, I believe, uh, where the cookies, all those cookies and stuff used to be. Closed, gone, no more. So don't come and looking for cookies here. Uh, although there is the other place that they, they have pretzels, pretzel wetzels, or wetzels pretzels is still open. So if you need something like that, no, come on down. They're still open. This whole store is closed. I don't, don't know what that is. I don't see any marquee up there. I might have covered this already. Who knows? No marquee, but it is closed. Blackened out windows. Nothing to see here. All right, yeah, I believe we started up here coming up to Salon and Spa. We started at showing there was a Pepsi machine and vans. So, yeah, so here we are. There it is, people. I completed my tour of the La Puente Mall from the first level to the second level, and I showed you all the stores that are still open, the stores that are not, the ones, the stores that are closed. I showed you um, a bunch of the seating area, a bunch of the quad area. Look at that. Great little seating area if you want to come and relax and just enjoy some time to walk around in a peaceful environment on the weekdays but i know that right now i <laughs> have to find a mail facility <laughs> so with that a mail facility for using the head the restroom all right i've been walking around after uh drinking a whole bunch of thai tea all right so there it is everybody this has been keith silva senior coming to you from the La Puente Mall here on Tuesday, January 16th, 2023. I hope you find this uh, or you found this video helpful and useful for the stores that you want to know are still open or are not open here at the La Puente Mall. Okay, 
So until the next video, please subscribe, like, and comment of how many stores you saw that were open and those that were closed. All right? Until next time, everybody, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye now.